Hello everybody, hope everyone's okay and everyone's super mega sad just like me that this is going to be my last vlog of the season because our season ends finally tomorrow and um, we are going to be playing against Hull, the mighty Hull tomorrow, 3 o'clock kickoff. Um, everyone check on the group, um, this is posted in for all our links and so on and so forth to the game. Um, if you are going to the game I hope you have a lovely journey, safe journey and I hope you get a good result. Um, first of all, I'll kick off with predictions. Um, I think that it will be 2 or 3-1 tomorrow. Um, I would hope for a clean sheet, but I think I'm going to be realistic again and say that it, it will probably be 2 or 3-1. Goal scorers, I think we're going to... I would hope that we get one off Gerard tomorrow with the potential of it being his last game. Um, no, because there seems to be some reports... Um, the Gerrard will be going back to Barcelona. Obviously, we don't know and nothing's being confirmed, but it would suit him if he stayed here. Um, obviously, this new boss of Barca is really interested in him um, by the looks of things, so we'll have to play that out and see what's happening. Um, Lukaku. Um, there's been all them things again. His agent saying it's too soon to speak about anything, but then there was other reports that said that his agent said that they were in talks with Spurs, so... It's just all up in the end. It's one of them things that, as I say, I don't like to talk about until the season's officially finished. But I would like to see goals from Delafeu, Lukaku, tomorrow. Just with it being, you know, coming to the end of their season and stuff. And I think it'd be a nice way for them to finish off. Um, if not, obviously, um, or if it is a three and none of them get a double, I would like to see Naismith score last of all. Or maybe even Seamus um, after him winning his two awards at the, um, at the award ceremony of the day. And, um, you know, big well done to him. Um, I'm sure everyone's really, really proud of him and everyone else who won awards that night. So, um, it was nice, I think, to see um, Jaggy Elka back in the game. Um, I'm not too sure how it worked with him, Alcaraz and John all at the back. Um, I think it went okay. It wasn't fabulous. But it was probably better than just having Alcaraz and Jags. There was a few times where mistakes were made and it cost us, it cost us the game. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the game because I don't like to talk about it. There was a lot of people who turned out that they were happy that we lost. I particularly wasn't. I was very upset that we lost. I don't believe we threw the game like a lot of people say we did and I don't think we deserved to lose either. As far as I was concerned, it was a draw um, and we deserved a draw for that game. But unfortunately, it didn't work like that. It was 3 2, but it was a wonderful game. Um, to watch, it was really exciting and I hope for more things like that next season um, moving on from that um, tactical wise and um, actually thinking about it, considering how Hull are at the moment just going forward to tomorrow's game um, if you think about it from a point of view which would be logic Hull are in the final of the FA now Hull are nowhere in the table to actually make an impact on changing, sorry, Snapchat's just going. They're in no position whatsoever to impact any change at all in the Premier League table. So it wouldn't benefit them in any way, shape, or form to beat Everton and gain them three points tomorrow. However, what would be more beneficial for them is, regardless of whether they win that FA Cup or not, whoever comes second, as far as I know, in the FA Cup gets that Europa qualification. So, in a logical point of view, Hull have got the potential to win a cup and have qualified for Europa anyway. So why would you put more attention winning a game against Everton in a Premier League where they've got nothing to win or to lose at all? In fact, it would hinder them more if they won tomorrow just for the sake of winning and then they put out a worse team or someone got injured for the FA Cup because they've got more to lose in that sense. Um... So I genuinely believe that we'll probably see a different side or maybe a, a, a B side or maybe some B players purely down to the fact that that is logic. However, we know it's the Premier League and we know it's football, so it probably won't work like that. Um, it's probably going to be a, a fight to the death, I suppose, if that's what you want to call it. Um, but I think we just need to be careful. We need to make sure that we're attacking properly. We need to make sure that defence is upon the shit hot. And we need to get as many goals in as possible. None of this arsey farty passing, you know, look at me with my magical, you know, foot skills. No, don't need any of that. We just need the ball to be passed, 
bish bash bash straight in go done straight back out carry on none of this messing around um i suppose it'll be nice to see um gareth back i mean i know he was missed at city um that'll be a good one i'm not going to talk about any players or anyone staying or going or anything like that. i touched a little bit on it before i hope gareth does stay i don't know about romelu um gerard mm, i'm a little bit hit and miss with as well um, for the players I know it will benefit them more to stay and probably us as well because they have had some impact on us but I think people sometimes forget that we have got key players of our own who we own who play so well for us people sometimes forget them and they get a bit too caught up in the oh Romelu Lukaku phase or oh look at Gerard, you know we don't want him to go remember we've got some outstanding players of our own and we've got a youth academy which is the shit people are will kill to get some of them players from us so, guys, please remember that and do not be too disheartened if that doesn't matter. More players will come in. We will buy new people. Our players from the under-21s, our youth players will come forward and we will go forward um, in this Premier League, in UEFA. I'm so happy that we got into Europe. I know there's people saying they're not happy about it, but think about it like this. The money that we've got from it is, is one thing. We haven't qualified for it for ages. All them records that have been smashed this season, just think of what it's going to be like next season. And on top of that, with that money, it then means we've got all these new and exciting things that could possibly come forward. So don't want to hear anyone going on about Bill Kenry and what money we will and won't get. At the end of the day, we qualified for it, we've got it. It just gives us more options. And if anything, for your Europa, let the younger ones play. We don't have to get through. Let the younger ones play. Let them get the experience. Let them build that confidence because they will be our future teams. They will be the ones who have invested that money in and the ones who will take us to that next level in two, three, four, five years. So as far as I'm concerned, this season has been unreal. It's been absolutely amazing. And I can't think we could have asked for much more from Martinez. I know it was a bit of a blow for some people with fourth or the FA Cup and stuff like that. There's only so far he can go though. A lot of it's down to the players as well. They're the ones who go out there every single week and play. So all of them have done so, so well. I'm really sad to see the season end, but next season is going to be even better. We will get fourth or higher. We will qualify for that. We'll qualify for UEFA again. We'll win a flipping cup as well while we're there. We'll just do everything next year. We'll fucking smash it. So <laughs> I'm, I'm excited for next season. So um, I hope everyone's had a lovely time watching these. And I know it starts a little bit late with these um, and so on and so forth. Um, but I will be continually doing them, um, especially through the pre-season and um, through and further on when we find out like new signings, um, who's coming, who's going, you know, all of that kind of stuff. I will be here, I'll still be doing them and next season I will be doing them as well and continuing um, what we have started. So I hope everyone has um, thoroughly enjoyed them and if anyone has anything that they'd like to input, anything they want to talk about, any predictions, please leave them below. Um, in the comments part don't write posts about them because i can't follow them and then i can't have conversation with you all so make sure comment below um and i hope everyone has a lovely time watching the match tomorrow um and i want everyone to do the same as what we did a couple of weeks ago i want everybody to post tomorrow what the predictions are gonna be like mine i took one before so i'm gonna start this photo so mine was like two one um or three one because i haven't really decided um and i want everyone to post them um tomorrow underneath my status one to post it and i want to see everyone in their final match day and um, stuff with their final predictions and then i will pick my favorites um so as i say i thank you so much for everyone who's watched and everyone who's commented and um i love you all so much and hopefully i get to meet a lot more of you next season and next season will be this one times a million and we will smash everything um, that we have done this year so thank you so much for watching and love you all so much see you soon bye